you know, I'm slowly coming to believe that when movies change their name, like once they've been released, kind of the festivals and stuff, and then they do a name change, never leads to anything good. Hey guys, welcome to Happy Wax TV. So, yeah, I don't know, January is a bad time for movies in general, let alone horror movies. All of the studios seem to dump their, they're not so popular or, you know, movies that they think are going to make money kind of into January. It's That's more so for the big studios. But the other thing too is when a movie changes its name, um, you know, after it's done the festival circuit or, or what, whatever, um, and then there's all of a sudden a name change. I just I just did a movie on it, or I did a, a movie that changed its name called Living Space, is now called Nazi Undead. And then just this past weekend, I got a movie sent to me called Bigfoot. And I was like, um, okay, I'm gonna drop everything right now and watch this trailer, because it's called fucking Bigfoot. So I was watching it, and I was like, wait a minute, I've done a, a review for this movie just last year. It was called Hoax. So there's a lot of that going on, and this is the case with this movie too, because originally, and I actually did a trailer review for it because the trailer for this movie looks fucking awesome. It was called Patience of a Saint. And I have waited and waited and waited for this movie to come out. In fact, I even contacted them on Messenger on Facebook to see if they'd send me a screener copy of this movie so I could review it just so I could see it earlier. They said they couldn't. I get it. You know, not every, every company can send out screener copies, especially to smaller channels like this. I understand that. So I had to wait like everybody else. But it's out now and I finally got a chance to sit down and watch it. Uh, cause, and it's now called uh, Inmate Zero. So, and I asked them on Messenger why the name change. And they said that it got picked up by, I think it got picked up by Vertical and Entertainment. And they have a movie out called Patient Zero. And they kind of wanted to, I guess, interweave the two. You know what I mean? The, and I'm like, okay, because I didn't say this, but I mean, I'm saying it now. That movie, Patient Zero, was absolute fucking garbage. So I don't know why they'd want their movie to kind of fucking intertwine with with that movie but anyways that being said i sat down and i watched this movie and uh i don't know man it's a mixed bag of tricks here uh it's directed by russell owen uh, he also was one of the writers on it and then very quickly um you know it's got a cast of and i and i get it you know this is a lower budgeted movie but it's got a cast of um you know a whole bunch of unknowns but our main star who plays Stone is Jess Chanlow. I think that's how you say her names. But yeah, basically the synopsis. When medical trials are pushed to their limits, the most extreme tests end up on St. Leonard's Island in the North Atlantic, a repurposed prison for some of the world's most violent criminals. This is a, a prison full of women. Um, but when one examiner, or experiment, sorry, goes wrong, the entire island becomes terrifying, the disease-riddled riddled maze for desperate survivors. So that's pretty much the, the, the synopsis and the whole movie. I mean, basically, we, I mean, act one, we're introduced to our main character, who is Stone. And she's on death row, um, waiting her, it, the scene opens up inside, I guess it's like a meeting room, where her and the doctor um, are, are having a conversation. And the doctor is giving her a chance to maybe get off death row, because they do these experiments in this facility. And let me just quickly say too, the facility, like the the uh, the prison location, is fucking bang on. Okay, for a lower budgeted movie, they sure lucked out by getting this facility. The prison's called H M Shepton Mallet, I think it's called in England, but this prison is 400 years old. And I'll tell you, just just like the scenes inside the prison, which is pretty much the entire movie, because it's shot on this location, are fantastic, and it just kind of brings it to that next level, you know what I mean? It really did help. But the opening scene is he's asking her if she wants to take, you know, if she can sign, to, you know, to, to try these trials because they do these experiments that we find out to try and cure cancer amongst other diseases, right? So they don't really give us a, a, a total background on it, but that's kind of what they're doing is they're taking these inmates that are gonna die anyways and give them a chance to see if they, they want to go through these experiments and a chance to live and maybe help out, you know, other people and stuff like that. And this prison supposedly too is supposed to be like off the grid. Like these are supposed to be like the worst of the worst. And it's it's kind of cool too because it's on this island so there's no way to get off it, right? If you swim, you're going to... It's even worse than Alcatraz 
You know what I mean? Because there, there's like a thousand miles to land, so you ain't, there's no way, unless you steal a boat or something, you ain't getting off it. So anyways, she she declines, and then um, again, too, it's a, it's a prison horror movie, so we always have the one asshole guard that you just want to punch in the face every time you see him on screen. And he is, uh, he's played by Raymond uh, Bethany, uh, and his character is called Woodhouse. Anyway, she gets back in her cell. Uh, Woodhouse has put one of the more deranged uh, inmates in there with her. Um, you know what I mean? Just because she won't cooperate. So a fight ensues. She gets her ankle sliced, and then she goes into the prison hospital. All right. And as soon as we walk in there, we know something's up because there's people puking and tied to the beds and it just looks like they're going to die. And then there's like the doctor there, Dr. Bragg, and she just doesn't give a fuck about anybody because they're all on death row anyways. Right. So then they wheel in inmate zero, right. Who is a guy and he went through these experiments and he comes in and he is fucked up. Okay. And you can see this in the trailer. So, I mean, I'm not giving any spoilers here. Um, this guy transforms into this zombie-ish type creature, which looks like a, like a cross between, you know, the record movies and 13 days later. And once you're bitten, you turn into these ravenous zombies. And I'll tell you, for the first, like for the first hour of this movie, like the, f the first act and the second act, this movie was great. I mean, it, it's it's filmed kind of old school. The setting is fucking fantastic. The acting was on par. The effects, like, it's, it's mostly practical. In fact, I think it's probably like 95% practical. There's lots of blood. There's lots of guts, you know, gore. I get it. They can't show people, like, actually, you know, ripping their limbs off. So there's a lot of aftershots where, you know, they go in to rip the face off and then the face splats on the floor or something. I get that. That's a lower budgeted practical move. And I, I can respect that. Um, you know what I mean? But it's, and it's like this, the, the first act and the, and the half way through the second, it just reminded me of such classic movies of like, you know, um, brighter reanimator or, or the reanimator. Do you know what I mean? Like the re record series, you know, 13 days later, you know what I mean? Like it had that style and it was just, the pacing was fucking awesome. It just kept going and going and going. And I was like, all right, this is the movie I waited for. And then halfway through the movie, they break into the warden's office. And then this movie just fucking falls apart. <laughs> I haven't seen a movie fall apart like this since I watched Silent Hill back in the day. I mean, if you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, Silent Hill was a video game that got turned into a, a horror movie, kind of like Resident Evil. And for the first half of that movie, when they're going into the city and you're, you know, all the shit's going on and the horn goes off and the big guy with the giant axe and the, the pointed head and all that crazy stuff going on. You know what I mean? And, it, and then as soon as the halfway point hits in that movie and they turn it into a fucking witch movie, that movie's fucking terrible. It's absolutely terrible. Do you know what I mean? And the same with this movie. They didn't turn it into a witch movie, but as soon as they got into that warden's office and then they decided that they were going to let, because at the same time they break into the warden's office, there's a whole bunch of visitors coming to visit. And as soon as they um, decide to let those, or try and get to those people to let them in, I don't know what they were doing, but I don't know. It just, this movie just fell apart. It was just a, a mishmash and like all over the place. And there were scenes in the, you know, half of the second and the third act that made absolutely no sense that didn't even need to be in the movie. And then it tried to turn into this, this preachy dialogue style horror movie. And I'm like, what, what, what the fuck just happened here? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, why are they doing this? This doesn't need to be in here. You know, but this is not what we want to see. We want to see the, the action of the first half carry on to the second half you know the first half is is us finding out what the fuck is going on the outbreak happening you know what i mean and then then kind of dealing with it and then the second half should be you know them planning their escape and then getting their escape that's that's not what this is they they plan their escape but it's so long and drawn out and this this movie is an hour i believe in 48 minutes trust me it could easily be an hour and 20 minutes like they could Listen, whoever edited this movie, if you could not find fucking 20 minutes 
to shave off this film to keep the pace going, then maybe you should invite me over and I'll sit down and watch and we'll re-edit this motherfucker. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Because this really, and I, I know I'm being kind of hard on this movie because it's just, it has tons of potential. You know what I mean? And the first half of this movie is fucking killer. It really is. I just, it's a shame the second half is so fucking bad. It's, it's, it's terrible. It really is. It's, it's slow, monotonous, and a lot of it doesn't fucking go anywhere or make any sense as to what they do in the scenes and this dialogue that doesn't need to be there. Like, fly me in. I'll fucking edit your movie for you. Fuck, I'll make, I'll make a 75-minute masterpiece for you. <laughs> do you know what I mean? But, man, oh, man, an hour and 48 minutes? Uh, no, this ain't happening, man. So it's a real shame, too, because... Uh, I mean, by, again, I'm being a little hard on this movie just because I had, like, such high potential for it. But definitely watch this movie. Like, this is, this is worth a watch for sure, especially with some of the movies that have come out lately. But to give this a rating, I'd probably give it, like, maybe a six. You know what I mean? Five and a half or a six. It's just the second half. It's just, like, what happened? What happened in the second half? I mean, I, and, you know, I think I'm over, if you think I'm over-exaggerating, please, again, watch this movie because it's out now. And then tell me I'm wrong. You know what I mean? It's like the, the first half is just awesome, 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 awesome. And we get to the peak in the warden's office. And then it's like, boo! It's like, what the fuck happened? It just falls off the cliff and goes nowhere. It's, god damn it. It's too bad, really, because, I mean, I really did. Well, I still like this movie. I just, I'm only going to give it a six, though, just because the second half. So, anyways, I don't want to drag this out too long. Definitely watch this movie. Um, I'm not highly recommending it, but I will recommend it. It's it's uh, definitely a movie to watch. You know what I mean? It's like a popcorny flick, and it's it's a lot better than most of the uh, zombie flicks that I've seen in the last little while. So, definitely give it a shot. Um, if you have seen it, uh, let me know what you think of it. Um, if you haven't, go rent it. I mean, you can, you know, again, these movies to rent are like four ninety nine, five ninety nine. I mean, you know, if they're if they're shitty or not worth watching, I'll tell you. And this one, this one is worth a watch. Do you know what I mean? You, you may not love it, but you'll probably end up liking it. And I think you'll have the same opinion as me at the end there. You know, the last like half an hour, maybe 40 minutes, you're like, what, what the fuck? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? But it's still a good go. There's lots of gore in it. You know, lots of, lots of fun bits and stuff. So anyways, go, uh, go rent it and have a watch and then come back and let me know if you agree or disagree with me. I'm curious to see what you have to say about this one, guys. So again, it was called... Uh, Patience of a Saint, and we've had name change. It is now called Inmate Zero. It's out now. Check it out, guys. And as always, stay scared.